Hi everyone! Previously, I talked a little bit about my experience of being in Switzerland for over a year now. Culture shock, the weird things and strange things. And as always, I always love to look at things on the positive side. So as much as they may be strange things, some not so great compared to where I come from, Malaysia, there are lots of things to love about Switzerland. And today I'm going to share some of them with you. I've never seen hitchhikers. I thought hitchhiking is a thing of the past, but in Switzerland, we've picked up at least three to four hitchhikers since I've been here. That is very interesting to me. I thought hitchhiking was from my father's time. So I find it very interesting and that is because Switzerland, I believe, is extremely safe. So people feel comfortable hitchhiking and not being afraid of being kidnapped or being taken away somewhere. And since we are touching the topic of safety, children as young as five walk to school by themselves. It's very cool. I've seen parents walking with them halfway and then watch them walk to school by themselves, but the parent stays behind just watching. So I find that really cool that children can be independent at such a young age and parents don't have to worry about their safety. In fact, on the first year of school, they actually have this yellow, a bit like traffic police kind of, um, what do you call that? Banner to put over the body, which they put on every single day so that the community knows, okay, watch out, these are new children, new in the community. They might not know how to cross the road properly. So people take extra care and watch out for these children. So the next thing I really, really love about Switzerland is their independent consumer reviews. So there, there's this organization which reviews products and then tell you the pros and cons and they actually rate the products according to its quality. But the thing is this organization is not attached to any of these products. So you get really independent consumer reviews which are, I find that really good. Many times the most expensive may not be the best and the mid-range ones sometimes are the best or sometimes even the cheapest ones are the best products. So it's really great to see. It's on TV. They even have a magazine called K-Tip here in Switzerland. Maybe there are more, but I only know this one called K-Tip, which is really, really good. So if you're in Switzerland, check that out. And this one I really, really love too is how environmental conscious the Swiss are. Not everyone, of course, like anywhere else, but the organizations, the government, they are really encouraging and constantly looking for new ways to reduce waste, to reduce plastic use, to make the environment better, to be really responsible. you get rubbish, pet, um, plastic bottles, aluminium and paper. You get it, the whole place here. You can see another one here and also in the station. It's really nice that those in power really take responsibility to help keep the environment nice and to help keep um, flora and fauna, the species alive and continuing their life. So for me that's really really cool because as you may know I'm very passionate about the environment and how we are caring for Mother Earth. And this next thing that I really love about Switzerland is water. You can get water anywhere because it is safe to drink tap water. Even water in the lake is safe enough to be drunk. It's always under maintenance. They test the quality of the water and 
yeah, you can get water anywhere. So there's no reason, there's no need to buy plastic bottles. You just have to make sure to always have an empty bottle with you. And there are the, all these fountains around towns and villages, even in the cities. I love it because I hate buying water bottles. <laughs> Stairway to diary. And the next thing I really really love and sometimes hate is how honest the Swiss people are. So if you ask if someone is doing well, usually in my country or uh, those cultures that I know, it's not a conversation, it's just a greeting. Oh, how are you doing? But in Switzerland, if you ask someone how they are doing, be prepared and have enough time for them to tell you how they are doing, whether it's good or bad, you will hear it. So I love how honest they are. For me, when people ask me, how am I doing? I'll just say good, even when I'm not good. But here, if they're not good, they will tell you, oh, I don't feel so good. So I think that's pretty cool. And also, for example, in Asia especially, if someone cooks you something, you eat it, especially if it's not... Maybe family members are different, but sometimes even family members, you try to be a bit polite and say, uh, if for example, I cook something for you and you are having it and I say, ah, oh, today I didn't do it so well, I missed out something or it's just not so good today, then you will probably say, Ah, oh, no, it's still really good. Like just to assure the cook that everything is good. But here, you can be honest. I remember once cooking something and I told Danny, hmm, I think I didn't do it so well today. He said something like, yeah, you've done better. So it's like, initially I'm like, yeah, why so rude one? That's the way it is. Pros and cons. I prefer to look at it on the positive side because it also means that people can improve, people can know the honest answer. In a way, I like it. I'm not used to it, but I like it. So these are all the things I love about Switzerland. I'm sure I've missed out some or something else might come up. So if you like videos like this, remember to give me a like and I might make more of them. I really love making these videos. It's super interesting. So let me know if you like it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!